this one. My apartment neighbor, female, has left her newly born's placenta in a bowl outside of her apartment door to ward off bad luck. Wow. It's that a thing? Eh, it's baking in 70 degrees for days. How do I tell her to throw it away? I don't know how to best explain it to her that it's starting to smell and it's getting on my nerves. Wait, but it's her neighbor? Yeah. Like apartment neighbor. So close neighbor. Wow. But like out, <laughs> outdoor apartment. That's so it's, right. It's baking that's, in the sun. That's close. Yeah. Because I was picturing if it's if it's next door neighbors house and to houses, house. yeah. <laughs> who cares? Weird, but mind your own business. Apartment. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I think it's great that we have this freedom to practice whatever we believe in, but at the same time, this is unsanitary, disgusting, and possibly dangerous. I told her this, but it seems that she wants to be just left in peace. What about the animals? Like, I feel like animals would be like starting to come and oh, eat it. Yeah. I don't know. This just like doesn't really get to me. Like, I just don't think I would care. I mean, unless I'm sitting outside. Lauren, of, what? <laughs> you don't even like period blood. How would you see a placenta okay, in a bowl? Period blood in my used utensils. That's different. My kitchen shared bowls. That is so different. <laughs> Can you imagine the smell of a rotting placenta? I mean, here's the thing is, do I have a nice setup outside of my apartment complex? Am I sitting out there and am I reading? Like, if if so, yes, I'd be annoyed. Or you walk by it every day. If I walk by it, I don't like, care. I, I mean, plug it's like my a nose. dead animal. You, you can smell I just, that. I plug my nose and I just pass by. No. You no. know when something's died near you. No. No, you would not. You're talking <laughs> a big talk right now. I If I was sitting outside reading, yes. But like, if I just had to pass by it, I would just be like, whatever. How does she know it's a placenta? I, I've also never really cared about a lot of those certain things. I know that like, I know that people will like pass by apartment complexes they get mad about the rug that they have or like that they leave shoes outside i've heard people complaining about stuff like that it no just, that doesn't phase yeah, me. yeah it doesn't phase me so i mean i know that a placenta is different than a pair of shoes yeah a little bit <laughs> this would really just it would be interesting i'm wondering if it must be like a cultural practice where this is like a what you do That's after a I'm child's thinking. born kind of like a ward off evil spirit it's like an astrology good thing. luck <laughs> placenta <laughs> I, I, Lauren's gonna do it now. Yeah, <laughs> let me look. The moon is in Capricorn, therefore my placenta is outside. Oh my god! I just want to know why, how she knows that it is that. Me? Oh, I don't. No, not you. Oh. How the? Well, let's Google. Let's, let's do some fixes here. Let's Google what a placenta looks like, because I'm I'm picturing it looking just like a sack outside Same. of the body. Um, I, so that's a placenta. I think. Especially if the baby came home recently, like I think it's kind of safe. Like you probably see the cord. Do you still. usually take that home? So there's a lot of interesting practices you happening. Eat it. People eat it. People have been eating their placentas because they say it's like it's supposed to be the best thing for you. Yeah. And there's a lot that's happening with placentas and how we um, cut the cords and let the blood fully drain from the cord first. So this article goes: placenta spirituality revered, but not in the West. The afterbirth has spiritual and religious significance in different parts of the world, but perhaps it's overlooked in Western culture since birth has become so cold and clinical, which I could, I could see that. They look at it as like birth is when the placenta dies and the baby's life begins. A lot of people bury the placentas. Mm, I've heard that too. Um, securely underground. This is to prevent it being stolen by evil spirits or eaten by wildlife thereby ensuring that the baby will have a long and healthy life. For hmm. example, if it is believed if the Adds placenta up. is eaten by dogs or pigs, the baby will suffer from manic depression. If eaten by ants, the baby will suffer from skin sores. And if eaten by birds, the baby may die suddenly. Well, now I'm curious what happened to the placenta that accompanied me. Same. <laughs> This took a turn. I like, was not that, expecting. Like, is that thing out behind the house I grew up in somewhere? Like, No, they, it, you were born in a hospital, yeah? Yeah. It's just hospital waste. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to eat hospital gotten, waste. <laughs> think you might have had a boar eat your placenta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what would you guys do in this situation? Lauren, you're not bothered. Are you bothered, Justin, or are you just ignoring it? I'm thinking. I'm just picturing this happening, uh, like, in the apartment place I used to live just picture it like downstairs in the lobby or what if um so I have an elevator you guys that like we get in and out of the elevator and it just goes right to your building what if this placenta was just in the elevator that's different 
I don't think that's, that's different. That's public space, though. This well, is public space, too, right yeah, outside her door. Right by it. You walk right by it. After knowing Lauren, I think Lauren would not enjoy it because you know when people say, oh, it smells like something died in here? Yeah. That's what I'm picturing. Yeah, but like, Lauren's not bothered by farts and a lot of smells, mm-hmm. so I don't know. Yeah. I, Me, it's, it's a whole different type of smell. I know. I would have a field day with this. I would not be able to handle it. I wouldn't want to throw it away because I feel like that might bring me bad juju and would also be very disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're into this. So you yeah. agree. You agree. It's warding off spirits. So what does this no, mean but for our future? I do, believe, I do believe in karma. Like that would be bad karma, bad juju. Like who, I don't know. Like she believes in it. So I don't like in the <laughs> off chance it is, you know, real. Like I think there's a lot of power in certain spiritual objects. Like Ouija boards. I do not fuck with Ouija boards. Justin like wants to get one to be funny, and I'm like, yeah. absolutely not. I'm not allowing You're that. You're not in. No, You're I'm out. not allowing that energy to come into my life. I don't really, I don't really get bent out of shape with Ouija boards. But my mom told me when I was really little, and I went over to a sleepover. Do not play with Ouija boards. So when you're that young yeah. and your mom tells you something like that, you're a little like traumatized yeah. now. Yeah. So now I'm like, I, I don't fuck with them. It's <laughs> yeah. in my rule book. I've never seen one. <laughs> I've seen mm. one at a cabin. I did play with one. So I, <laughs> <laughs> no, I have too. It was at like a, it was, what? A, yeah. All the kids cabin, are doing it. And like, it was the scariest experience and I wasn't about it. And after my haunted house experience, I'm like, I'm a full believer in ghosts and cr- that that shit. So damn. Well, we're, we're doing a scary stories episode eventually. Hey. Yeah. So yeah, I wouldn't throw this thing away, but I would have a really hard time. I might put a lid on it. Like maybe I'd put a lid on it because if there was a lid on it, then animals aren't going to mess with it. It's, it's more contained. You might not. You're still smell interfering it as much. though. Oh, shit. True. I don't know. I thought it was a good idea. I feel like it's still out there doing you know serving its the purpose. bad spirits are like. Yeah, but now all the good spirits are locked out. Oh, yeah. Uh, was it bad spirits or good spirits? It's bringing good luck. Oh, okay. Good luck. That's good. Yeah, so she gives a little edit. I've reported this to my landlord. Hopefully, their response will be prompt as there's a swarm of black and green flies near oh, the bowl. Oh, fuck that. Ten- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, it's like a dead rat You didn't mention the, the insects. <laughs> but I said, what about the animals? But that's not an insect. I'm picturing like cute little squirrels and I'm like, bring them, bring them. <laughs> no, it's, okay, it's yeah. decaying. Okay, Snow White. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so top comments, take photos and report it to your landlord. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone's like taking this post very seriously. So someone goes, that's enough of the internet for today. <laughs> yeah. And then they go, it's, I a love ho- that comment. it's a horrible day to have eyes. Like I shouldn't have seen that. But yeah, everyone else is very logical. Like speak to the property manager. Right. Report it to your landlord. Like everyone's taking it so seriously and like providing really good advice versus like trolling this person. So I appreciate that. Yeah, me too. Research about what on earth it means. It has to go regardless, but no need to offend the person about their beliefs mm-hmm. or yeah. their mental health, etc. Yeah. Would be a good way to check up on their welfare too. Really so good. do we confirm though that it is a a certain yeah it is a cultural practice okay um uh, many many cultures actually practice this and religions i mean i think that's cool but it is hard when you live in a shared yeah building you got to be respectful that everyone does not have the same yeah yeah cultural beliefs and values yeah no update and no other comments so no idea if it uh got taken away or is still out there 